Hey, I'm Kev Care, Mr. Cohen. Welcome back to Rider Career in MotoGP 17 as Patrick McDonald is preparing for the biggest race of his young career so far. As in the Red Bull Rookies Cup, he's second in the championship, but he knows a victory in Aragon will mean he wins the championship ahead of his Spanish rival, who on own turf here in Aragon be could become another Sp Spanish talent for the future and coronate himself the Red Bull Rookies Cup champion. So it's between the Kenyan and the Spaniard. Let's see who comes out in top in qualifying. Let's see here is Patrick McDonald for his two laps on this KTM. Four-stroke 250cc Moto3 bike. It is very much similar to the Moto3 bike. So ride in the Moto3 World Championship, which of course is the next step for Patrick McDonald after this race. Let's see what you can do in qualifying. Around a very sunny arrow gone. He gets in second gear, and that's very nice. Breaking for the first corner. Normally it's so difficult to break for that corner. Can go flat out through the next right. And slightly through the next right again, dabbing the brakes. In this circuit, so flat out in a Moto3 bike. A bit more stop start and say a Moto GP bike or even a Moto 2 bike, but in a Moto 3. Red Bull Rookies Cut bike. Here's that. And look at that. McDonald up by two hundredths of a second as he's halfway through qualifying. He's waited a long time to go out. Let all his rivals go out, set a bank of that. At the track. Rubber in as well. As you go through the roller coaster for the first time, the bike gets a bit light there on the front, especially. For the second part, but Pedronod negotiates that beautifully. And then slightly through the very long left hander. As now we head towards a tight couple of corners. And oh, he's lost a quarter of a second. Goes slightly wide as well in the left. And then over the hill we go through the right. Slight lift. Could probably take that flat out on his second lap. Now downhill through the right. And send up this left for the back straight. And oh, he's lost another few tenths of a second. He needs to be on this front row, does Patrick McDonald. He might be off it at this moment in time. Let's hear towards the final couple of corners. Beautiful couple of corners. Flow into each other. And long radius corners as well. This left-hander. Take it in third. And then flat out through the next left onto the front stretch. He's got a beat at two minute point five. He's not. He's way down. Second and a half down. There's all oh, lots of breaking on the rear. There. He's in the mid pack. 13 out of 26 riders. He's been much better in qualifying. Is he going to be pushing like hell on this lap? First set to go in all right at the moment. Once again, looking that rear. Under braking. Maybe he doesn't lose it like he did. Last time out of Mazzano. Look at that three tenths up. It's showing time wise as well. He might get some slipstream here as well from the rider in front, or he could be a distraction. We will find out in the second half of this lap. He's going downhill through the first. Right, then a bit wider in the left. Picking up the power a bit earlier though. And through the long left. Slight lift in the middle part. It gets on the power quickly. Does Patrick McDonald. And Nicola is extended in advantage. This is the lap. Patrick McDonald oh yeah, breaks himself into the left hand again as you go past the famous wall to our left hand side. And it goes slightly wide through the right. He's all the curb. And now he will be getting some strip stream from the rider in front. It looks like down this back straight. He made, did make a bit of a mess of that section, but he's still over a quarter of a second in front. Here's Patrick McDonald with this slip stream as well, heading towards the final couple of corners. Just got to keep it together through this penultimate corner. Did take it. Didn't take it that well previous to that. Oh, well, that's better. Gonna power slightly later, but it carried more speed through the corner. 
Again, with this search stream, this will help towards the run to the line, but still leaves out in that final sector by almost a second. He's only on the second row at the moment. Disappointing for Patrick McDonald. Such a good life until that final sector. As we skip to the end of the session, he will start in sixth. And his Spanish rival, though, will share the second row with him with the Italian in between the championship pair. But we've got the Japanese rider on par ahead of the Czech and then Roy Skinner in third in this. So we've got the Dutch Dane and Spanish on the third row. And then we've got the Finnish rider ran out the top 10 with Dan Jones at the back. So what can Patrick McDonald do in this race? Can he grab the victory he needs for the championship? As here we are looking at the grid, there is McDonald in CF there, here's a Spanish rival in 4th and then looking further down the field you've got the Turkish rider in 11th, the Spaniard in 12th and then looking further down there's Masaki down in 6th, Steve on the 6th row, not very good for the Japanese riders, right at the back there is Dan Jones and the Belgium. So it is for Patrick McDonald, 4 laps to the side, this championship as he gets underway. From the second row, he gets a good start. He's jumped, a row, he's jumped his rival, does he? He does, up into fourth, towards the first corner. And slots into that position. Very good start for Patrick. And now looking down the inside, he makes it into a podium, does he? Not quite. And oh, it's a run around the outside. Patrick McDonald's gone wide. He's lost it all, that progress. From the start. Let's look through the next couple of corners. Well, he holds on to seventh just. And his first lap pushing too hard, was he? Stick it down the inside of the Italian. Makes it up to sit for now. So now we've got that famous gang of five from Masano in front. What will Patrick McDonald do? Will he sit back on his first lap like he did? Mazzano, will he be making moves already? Because he needs to win this thing. Let's go through the long left. Oh, a rider in front. He had to check up badly. But he didn't lose too much time to his Spanish rival, that is, in front. And oh, he gets into the back of him. He's down. Oh, Patrick McDonald. You're going to get a reputation, son. Obviously not happy about being bought through the long left. Just takes him out. Some controversial circumstances. Has Patrick McDonald won the championship by default? He's still got a push though. You don't know where the Spaniard is going to emerge at the end of this race. He could battle his way through the field and grab a top five still. You just never know. As he got the Czech and the Brit battling for the win. We've got Carrasco behind in seventh, head of the Italian. And there is Skinner back into the uh, the Czech rider. We've got everyone pairing off. McDonald punted off his partner all by himself. As he go on to the second lap, took that first corner of gear too high. But he's still holding on to fifth. This could be a very lonely race for him if everyone sticks to their pairs. Let's see what McDonald can do if he can push hard. Through the sectors as he's got a second half gap behind, second half gap in front. Very lonely for him at the moment. We've got the Spanish crowd all around as well. Pedro McDonald might have to jettison out of here after that early incident in this race. And he's lost half a second in that first sector. There you go into the middle sector. Kissing those curves. Not taking too much. Don't want to be taking too much curve, of course. Just go slightly wide again through the long left. That's a decent run. Doesn't look like he's lost too much time, though. In fact, he's gained back half a second. Goes into the left. That's much better. It's actually gaining on the front for it looks like. He's going to the right and into the left. Not quite in slipstream range though. 
But there he goes, gained another half second. He's got over a two second gap behind. Bertrand McDonald is still focusing on the front four. Wants to take his championship in style, not with the way he did on that first half, as it's a check rider back past the Brit. And so we've got the Dutch and the Italian battling behind. There's a bit wide in penultimate corner as the Italian gets past the Japanese rider in front. As we go into the second half of this race, Patrick McDonald's got his destiny seat. Destiny within his hands. Got Skinner past the Trek Rider. Again, loses around seven tenths in that final sector. No Padre McDonald going very right. Once again, through that right. By not reacting, how it did in qualifying for him through that. But through the left. He's getting loads of times in his first sector for this pair, battling for the podium. Padre McDonald could sneak up to them here. He's gained back all that time he lost in the first sector, or last sector. The last lap. Now if he's a good middle sector, he could be right on the tail of this pair. So once again, Japanese rider fends off the Italian for that podium. It's like Skinner and a Czech rider have settled down slightly. So here is Patrick McDonald. Battling for a podium, he's got some slips in his cell, nicking round the outside, 4-4. Four, 4-3rd. Four. Four he takes it. Great move from the Kenyan. Tenting slightly early for the right though. It's even not ruling out a victory just yet. He's just over a second while on the track ride. He's still in the slipstream off Skinner and they're battling like hell for the victory. But now, O'Donnell is towing along. The pair behind into this penultimate corner. But they're too speedy battling with each other, and it's like. As there goes my little flower through the final corner, heading on to the final lap of the season. And with one hand on the Red Bull Rookies Cup trophy. They got fastest app as well, 201.1. Definitely found his rhythm. He gets better as his eight as this race goes on, does McDonald. Didn't lose too much in that final set to either, just a couple of tenths. So pushing like hell for the victory. On this final lap, there's a very good first sector. Gain back a couple of tenths. But again, this is middle sector where he's very good. Especially through the roller coaster, this Italian gets past the Japanese rider behind. 4 4 for now. There goes McDonald using all of the curve. He's been very aggressive on this final lap. Goes through the long left. And once again, getting in the slit stream, heading towards this left hand around the outside, the chair around it outside the Brit, maybe for the victory. Oh, he's on the curbs. Gone wide. Oh, they got back fast. Through the right, I had to let them by. Into the next right, down the inside, the chair rider. Into that, down the inside, the Brit. He takes the lead, does McDonald. Too high a gear though, off the corner. So the Czech's got a beautiful run. So has the Brit, they got Slipstream heading towards the final couple of corners. Can McDonald hold on? They're looking to the outside, why are they doing that? So they're trying to hold the inside line. As he looks like he's just solid off the check rider, is he in the run to the line? Who's going to win this race? It was. I don't know. Who won it? Did it go? It was McDonald by 22 thousandths of a second to win the championship. Has well with Skinner in second and the check rider in third with. Just right before Italian in 15, Carrasco in 7th, they got the Finn in 7th. 
You got the Spaniard in eighth. Sorry, I kept calling him Italian. That was a Spaniard in eighth. The Dex Rider in ninth. You got a Japanese running around at the top ten as well as the home hero in twenty fifth. After early clash with Patrick McDonald. As yes, that is how you end the season. Not with that first lap, but that final lap. What a race! What a way to end this Red Bull Rookies Cup career for Patrick McDonald. The first title in the bag. Just three more to go. In every class, as yes, the clothes are static. So reputation earned is pretty good. Championship as well. Lots of reputation earned for that. Your adventure is about to begin. You will need to remain focused and always give it all you've got to win. I've seen Patrick McDonald definitely showed that in this episode. Remember to check your emails often. They contain helpful information and useful hints. Didn't really manage a career, so let's see if it's a bit different in Ryder career. The series season is about to begin. Choose the team you want to race with. So this is all up to you in the comments below. Who is Patrick McDonald going to race with in Moto3? You can compete in the Red Bull MotoGP Wookiees Cup or compete in Moto3. So we can actually do a full season in the Red Bull MotoGP Wookiees Cup. But after winning a championship, I don't think there's any actually any point in doing that. So compete in Moto3. And he's got the choice of the Australia Gadetska team alongside Arnold Kinnett and Ennio Bastianini, the Yerpard Racing Team, one Mir, Vivio Loy of the British Talent Team alongside John McPhee on the Honda. And then you've got the Sky Racing Team VR46 team with Bulliger and Migno. I know that's not how you say his name. Then you've got a Red Bull KTM team with Anthony and Ben Snyder. Then the Cassini team go go alongside DJ and Antonio and Jorge Martin. Then you've got Snipers team alongside Fanati and Gilles De Niro. Or you can go with the I don't know how you say that, is that Stud Middle? GP team alongside Otel. You can go to Real Estate team alongside Dal Bindo and Marcus Ramirez. You've got the C, the Marco Simoncelli tribute team there in 58 with Suzuki Arbolino. Then you've got the Honda team Asia alongside Tuba and the tie rider. I will put, I'll try this one time to pronounce his surname. You've got the Karin Atirafovapat. I apologise that you had to hear that. You've got the bow racing team with Juan Fran Guerrera and Gabriel Rodrigo. And the sync racing team, Adam Nuradin and Sasaki, who won the Red Bull Riders Cup in 2016, if I remember correctly. And then you've got the Mahindra team with Della Porta and Albert Arenas. Or the AGR team alongside Maria Herrera, the only female rider in the field. And then we've got the Persia team, Rocken Kornfeld and Patrick Pukinit. Pukinin, the Finnish Patrick, remember. And then finally, CIP, Mahindra team, Marco Brzecki and Manuel Pagliani. So, who are we going to ride for? The only 100% teams are the Leopard Racing and the Australia Galizia team, but then you've got British Talent Racing, which are very good at 95, then 90% for the VR46 team and Red Bull as well. And then it goes downhill all the way to 65. So who do you want Patrick McDonald to race for in Moto3 next season? Let me know down below and I will see you next time. Hope you enjoyed the beginning of Rider Career. I certainly have getting back into the string of things. So thanks for watching and I will see you next time.